Hi, my name is Elizabeth von Münch. I work as a freelancer for Stockholm Environment Institute and I'm based in Germany. With this video, I want to give you a little overview of how you can get into Wikipedia as, a, as an editor and become a so-called Wikipedian. And I hope you'll get intrigued by all the different things you can do and just give it a go. So when you watch this video, I assume that you already have a Wikipedia login. So I've logged in as with my login, which is here, EVM Smile. And the first thing I wanted to point out to you is, as you can see, there's a lot of additional things around here that you could click on to find out more about this article. But one really important one is the talk page. So I've gone to the article about World Water Day. And now I'm clicking here on the talk page. Every article has a talk page connected to it. And that's the place where you can discuss um, how you want to improve this article. For example, here on um, World Water Day, it's already been archived, but there was a discussion last year in April where somebody, oh, it was me actually, <laughs> um, put something about this article. And if you want to reply, you just click here on Edit Source and you can put your reply at the bottom of what the other person wrote. So the talk page is really important for Wikipedia because Wikipedia is all about consensus building and collaboration. So do use the talk page when you have um, bigger plans to change an article. You don't have to use it if you just want to make some minor changes. These minor changes, um, you can just go straight ahead and use these, one of these two edit buttons, whichever one you prefer. This edit one here takes you to the visual editor, which is just like editing in Word, where you can make directly changes or improve sentences and so on. The other one is the edit source, the source editor, which takes you to the source code of the page. Um, so for some applications, for example, copying from one article to another, the source editor is better. If you don't see these two buttons, then make sure you go into your preferences. And here there's a tab on editing. And there you can select that you want both editor tabs to be seen. This preferences section is quite useful. So have a look around what else you might want to adjust. For example, on notifications, you can change what emails you want to receive from Wikipedia to be notified about things. Um, for example, you can, um, you can set it up so that you get email notifications when an article that you're watching is changed. So I, meant, I mentioned articles that you're watching. This is something you can set up here on your watch list. On the watch list, you can put articles that you care about. So usually it's articles where you've worked on before um, or topics that you're particularly interested in. So I've got quite a few on my watch list and um, I have a look here and see what other people have changed. For example, this one here on hand washing, I can go in and see the difference, what this person has changed on the 6th of March. The person has added here a the, and that's a good change. So I just don't do anything else. I'm happy with that. I can even thank the person if it's something bigger that they've done. And that was really good. But if it was vandalism, then I can just click here on undo to undo that change. So that was the watch list. Then I also wanted to show you, if I go back to this article, article hand washing, this tab here on view history is also really useful. Here you can see what people have changed in recent times. Every single change that has ever been made to a Wikipedia article is available here. Um, and again, you could click on these two things and then compare two different versions, um, which is basically the same as what I just showed you on the watch list. So that was the history, view history. And there's also some additional things like the um, page view statistics, you can see how often this page gets looked at for the last 90 days. And you can see how many people are watching this page. Finally, I also invite you to take a look 
at the different languages that exist for that article. So here on hand washing, if I scroll down here on the left, I can see the other languages that this article already exists in. Um, so I could pick up this Indonesian languages here, language here. And um, the, the different language versions can be quite different depending on when they were created. And if you think that there's good material on the English version that you'd want to translate into another version, then please go right ahead. So I hope with this video I got you interested in getting involved in Wikipedia and I look forward to seeing you online.